Anyway, once you get your cameras up and running, this is what you're going to, the page you'll see when you hit your camera button down here, front. I've got this one named front online, so you can see it's online. And I got a piece of masking tape there to block out the camera numbers for my own security purposes. And I got my outside camera, and it's online, and my rotator camera, and it's online also. But we're going to work with this outside camera, and we're going to touch this arrow here and go to the next page. And this is the next page, and it just gives you your camera name, your camera ID, which I have blocked again for my own security purposes, and your username, the one you choose. Usually it's admin, but I changed my username to Swamp Thing. It's supposed to be a T-H-I-N-G. And then the password, uh, you are a loser three times. Now what we want to do is want to go to advanced settings, so we're going to hit that button and go to the next page. Okay, and here we are on the next page. We want to roll down here to mail settings and then hit that arrow and go to the next page. And that takes you to this page. Uh, you put your email address in there, whatever it is, and then you type in your SMTP server, which uh, you just type in SMTP and mine matched, so I don't know what yours would be, but mine matched like that. And then make sure this port number is correct. Now, when I typed in Comcast like that, it, it defaulted to the number 25, which was not right. And so I did a little bit of research online and found out that Comcast had changed their port number to 587. So I typed in 587, and I was able to receive the emails from my camera uh, after that. And then uh, make sure this uh, button's checked in the green, uh, authentication button, can't even pronounce it. And then uh, type your email address in here under username. This is uh, and your uh, your password to your email address so that the camera can access all this stuff through your server. And then type in uh, your email address here on receiver one also. And then when you're totally done, uh, hit done right there, and uh, it'll take you to this next page. Okay, once you get your email set up like that then you go back to this advanced setting page and you go to alarm setting right there click on the arrow and then you'll notice that uh, you want this motion detect armed in the green and you want input arm in the green and down at the bottom here you want uh, send email when armed make sure those are uh, marked and up here it says motion detect sensitivity i have mine on normal I had it on high, and it was sending me way too many emails. I had it on low, and it wasn't hardly sending me any. And then I went to normal, and I was happy with that setting there. And then uh, in input arm, make sure you have that. Uh, trigger level high. I had it on low, and I was experimenting with all these uh, different ways. It only has high and low, and I have mine on high, and I'm getting all the emails that I want. And uh, so I hope this helps you.